What is he doing there? What? The gentleman here. On the grass? With the path, you mean? Yeah. You see it everywhere. You see it everywhere? Everywhere. And there is. Huh? And there is. Did you see it anymore? Yeah, there's, woman, there's someone over there doing it. And when you drive, you see it all the time. Kim Il Sung gives uh, hope to uh, people all over the world who are living in a hopeless situation. He finally achieved in uh, uh, liberating the country and uh, made the country into the workers' paradise, of which I am proud to visit today.
how just natural the kids are. Yeah. And when they grow up, well, they're so much indoctrinated. They're, uh, there's still a chance there for this country that these people will grow natural people. Yes. Yeah, but, well, God knows what will become of them when they grow up. They mm. so, get so much indoctrinated that well, they won't the behave like natural people. The whole world's going to be different too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So the Korean people, so the things that's our leader Kim Jong Il is always in our heart of the Korean oh. people. Where does uh, the leader Kim come from today? Oh, he lives nowhere. He lives in our heart. <laughs> he lives in every heart of every Korean man and woman. Right, right. Next time when people ask me where I live. I hope to live in your heart. <laughs> I've listened to South Koreans tell me what North Korea is like, and I've listened to Washington tell me about what North Korea is like, and I was tired of it, so as you said, I wanted to see from my own eyes. Because I think that there are a lot of misperceptions that would state the nuclear issue, for example. It was reliant on fuel from the Soviet Union. It has no oil of its own. It has some natural gas. By 1994, they needed a way to generate power. So they started to build a, a nuclear plant. It upset the USA that a country was, go, was going to build a heavy water factory. Jimmy Carter came here. An agreement was signed. They put my freeze for heavy nuclear plant in exchange for two light water reactors. Now these light water reactors were meant to be finished in the year 2000. We're now in 2004. All there is is two concrete holes in the ground. So the government was left with no choice. It starts working again on the heavy water factory which it froze in 94. And the North has said that it will freeze and, and allowing the International Atomic Energy Agency into this country for checks if the light water reactors resume building, they get, they get fuel till they're completed and the most important thing, the USA signs a pact of non-aggression and violence. I think that the, the administration in Washington doesn't necessarily understand the culture of Koreans, both North Koreans and South Koreans, they, they don't understand certain things that you need to understand before you can make a determination on an issue like nuclear weapons. I think the U.S. is using a lot of very strong language. I mean, the, the president said North Korea is part of the axis of evil, and I don't think that that the administration really has much information, any information about North Korea. So little is known that I think it's difficult for the U.S. to do that. Now, on the other hand, um, I think that North Koreans, the government, for, for right or for wrong, has certain impressions of the United States in general that might not be correct. Told that the uh, the nature of U.S. imperialism will never change. The U.S. Mm. has mm. 
perhaps been overly aggressive yeah. and confrontational towards North Korea. I think also North Korea perhaps yeah, has the one over here. gotten too defensive. <laughs> <laughs> they don't trust the U.S. administration. No, no, it's made they as well have made the same as that are not necessarily helping bring the situation to a peaceful conclusion. Is that fair? One more question. I think that you generally had the general uh, preconception of our country before you came to our country, okay? But our country, you have some idea what Korea is like. And now you are here for three days. Mm -hmm. And is there any change of your preconception? Or I didn't expect North Korea to be as pretty as it is. I didn't expect it to be as green, as much farmland. Um, I know a lot of Korean people, so I, I expect the people to be as kind as they are. Um, it, you know, so I, I, I really did have an open mind, and I, I was expecting it to be a nice place. So, and I've been impressed. I, I, I'm very impressed. I think it's a wonderful place. I think it's also difficult to get a complete picture of a place in only three days. So we have more time to spend. I just want you to have the fear and the have a correct understanding of the country. Yes, th and that's what I want to do as well. I'm, I'm not here. It would be boring. It would be a waste of my time to come and just go back and tell the same stories that they do all the time without visiting Korea. From California to New York Islands, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, oh, this land was made for you and me. Thank you. I'll be here all week. <laughs>